Hi Capricorn, how are you? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. Take uh, Keep in mind that this is a general reading and it may or may not resonate with all of you. If it does resonate, there's an extended at the end of this video. Also, I will talk about all the energies in place for the time frame of this reading. I will talk about the good thing that is coming towards you and about the person on your mind. So let's continue and let's shuffle the deck four times for you. One last shuffle. Okay, so let's see what is the overall energy for this reading. King of Coins. The first message that I got was much more stability financially. So if you were having problems in this area, I see you being much more secure and confident. Not only that, but uh, relationship wise, I'm getting that there's a very stable energy around you. A very mature person as well maybe another earth sign another capricorn or taurus and virgo or they have the same idea or perspective about being in a connection in a solid connection so, so this is a very mature energy uh, that is very good news but let's start with what is affecting you in your subconscious what is affecting you in your subconscious at this moment? The sun. Not feeling quite content and happy. Having much higher expectations and at some previous um, connection. Wanting to be much happier. To, to find more balance and harmony in your love life, work life as well for some of you. You know the answer that that happiness you are looking outside is found inside in fact we can just share it with others but we cannot find it outside ourselves some of you are having very big expectations i'm not saying that you should lower uh, your goals and expectations but uh, be more easy on yourself. Now let's see about the challenge of the past. The Tower. An unexpected event that changed everything, changed the perspective here of the whole situation. It was a very turning point. Maybe you were planning to build a kingdom with them and the empire and unexpectedly the tower moment in event a behavior that completely destroyed the situation and it came as a big surprise but it gave you more clarity more data that in fact this situation was not having a solid ground not having solid foundation and that's why it didn't it failed the test that's what i'm getting it failed the test to see if this connection was strong but how do you view this situation with them you expect them to talk they seem a bit afraid to reach out but you expect communication from this person now what you want to avoid is talking or dealing with a partner that is so guarded not not vulnerable not emotional is holding back has resistance at the same time they give signs and attention from time to time and not know exactly if they want to be with you or not that's something you want to avoid now let's see more details nine of wands yes it's the same energy almost the same energy what you fear is that you have lost trust there and the trust will never come back the trust is broken here 
you want you may want to rebuild this or want to be more optimistic and positive but something changed in the past and you are afraid that you may never see them in the same light again what about the current energies Judgment. You are at crossroads, needing to make a decision about what to do in the near future. You see many red flags here. I think that you have reconsidered the idea of giving them another chance, but you have strong criterias, criterias now. You don't want the same kind of uh, version of the connection. You want an upgraded, better version of it. Now, what is the good thing coming towards you? Eight of Cups. Why the Eight of Cups, Two of Wands, Three of Swords. Okay, the good thing is that, how can I put this? Okay, put it more simply. It is that uh, you should not keep on hold on this past connection and do nothing else. If you want, if you want to be in a relationship, at the same time keep looking for new opportunities. If you have new opportunities, consider those opportunities. If they broke your heart and uh, you felt so unfulfilled energetically and emotion emotionally in that connection, not try not to be naive. Try not to stay too long into the past if you don't want to leave or drop this connection completely you can keep it in your mind but don't be stuck there this is the message i'm getting for you especially if this uh, if there was no love and heartbreak and a painful ending you should be more decisive about trying to look for a better partner that's how I can view this three of swords, eight of cups and two of wands. But let's see about their energies. Let's see about what uh, energies, thoughts do they have towards you at this moment. This person has attraction, lots of attraction for you. Okay, this person wants a new beginning. They want to be a couple with you. So, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Let's see at the bottom. The Hermit. They are reflecting a lot upon this. Now, you may not be with them and they are very withdrawn from you. But they keep watching you. Page of Swords is here. With the intention to start communication soon and tell you that they want a new better beginning. That that connection was really special for them. So it's becoming quite complicated. In fact, they have changed their mind. They seem more optimistic. They want a new beginning. Let's see what advice do, I, do we have for this case for them, the person on your mind. Let's see, what is the advice for you? King of Wands. They seem very passionate, fiery intensive here ace of swords make a decision uh, towards them only if you know the truth and you have more facts gather more facts uh, don't rush anything with them it seems for me it seems quite beautiful if i would not see this three of swords eight of cups and two of wands as the good energy and the ace of swords and king of wands I would interpret this as a very good energy, as a new beginning, as a, a love offer from this person. But something is not quite right there. And that's why I think you should be very, very logical, not emotional towards this connection. If you want to give them a chance, you can give them a chance in order to collect more data and uh, be more convinced yourself. I'm not telling you this is bad, this is good. I'm telling you to be cautious and not to rush an important decision or to be naive again with them. Maybe give it more time. 
Now, if this reading resonated with you, I will continue this in the extended with more details about this person, more details about you and this connection between you both. Also, I will see more details about the good energy that is coming towards you, why this distance from them is a good energy, in fact. And if you are interested, the full video is in the description box below. So thank you for watching. See you in the next reading and bye for now.